As I said in the previous video, I want to talk about this logout methods in a separate video because this is really important. And, uh, you know, this auto login class already is going to set cookies and session in uh, any computers that user is using. So it's really important to, even in your web server, so it's really important to go ahead and add this function, even if you uh, do not even need that. It's not really just you know, adding this function and destroying the session. So this logout function only have a parameter called all and it sets to true and it's, uh, it means this is an option, optional a parameter. So the first thing we're going to check is uh, check to see if the all is equal to true which means that uh, user clicks on the logout button. In that case, we're going to go ahead and run the delete all method that we explained in the previous video. Delete all method, which is right here. If I open this up again, you can see that we're deleting everything that associated with the user key. So this is gonna delete everything basically associated with the user key. Otherwise, if this is equals to false, which you actually can go ahead and make this false right here by hand, then we're gonna parse cookie again and we're going to update this uh, we're going to update this and set this to set uh, the cookies being to use then we're going to prepare the statement bind prime and execute the query so we're going to uh, do this again but uh, using this parse cookie and assign it to a token and uh, you know binding binding this token right here so whatever you have it have right here is going to go ahead and sit right here. There you go, right here. But we are preparing it. That's why we uh, we have to go ahead and add it right here. After after that, we have this function called set cookie, uh, which finally uh, sets the cookie and invalidates the cookie and assign it to an empty string and invalidate invalidate this, uh, this cookie by uh, subtracting 24 hours for the, from the current time and uh, assign everything else to an empty string. The final point I want to mention is uh, this is only going to work when you're using one browser at a time. Let's say we have a Google Chrome and then Firefox. You log in from the Google Chrome and you log in from the Firefox as well. When you log out from the Google Chrome and uh, I mean log out uh, from the system by using Google Chrome, uh, what this is going to do is going to keep the cookie, keep the session. I'm sorry, uh, you know, inside the Firefox, but not in the Google Chrome because you selected logout inside the Google Chrome. So the cookie is going to uh, the, the session cookie is going to remain there, and then we're going to add uh, the reason why I didn't add the code for the uh, destroying the session right here is because we're going to. Uh, add this destroy session in the main script we're going to use in the next session. So uh, it's really important to uh, you know understand this right here because uh, and it's not a really security uh, warning right here because uh, when you uh, not even destroying the session right here and uh, just setting the cookie and assign it to an empty string the cookie is going to be invalid even in your database and data, your database using uh, you're using a garbage collection to remove it from your database so next time even if you're using another browser your cookie and session are not going to be valid because they are working along uh, with each other so in the next session we're going to add the session cookie uh, to the script to the main script and destroy the session itself